we're not going to make a video talking about the players that we were right about without taking a moment to talk bad about ourselves. I mean, we're not that conceited. We actually take responsibility for our mishaps, unlike others. But let's take a moment to talk about those players we had high hopes for and even those we didn't expect to break out. I'm Hassan Khan of Time to Football, and here are 10 players we were wrong about in 2021. Number 10, Jerry Judy. Naturally, many people expected Judy to blossom in his second year. Reports out of training camp said that Judy and Teddy Bridgewater have developed a lot of chemistry. Though his season was cut short, had he played in every game this year, his stat line would have been way worse than his rookie year, and that's including the extra 17th game. Judy would have finished with 794 yards and zero touchdowns. We projected him to haul in 900 yards and six touchdowns. Perhaps what could put Judy over that hump is a little change at quarterback. Number nine, Matt Ryan. Whatever your opinion on Matt Ryan is, I think we can all agree that we expected a much better stat line out of him last season. We projected him to toss over 4,600 yards and 29 touchdowns. Instead, he threw for 20 touchdowns and didn't even cross the 4,000 yard mark. A good bit of that can be attributed to the loss of Calvin Ridley as Ryan was on pace to throw for 34 touchdowns had Ridley played the whole year. But instead, we saw Ryan struggle heavily when we had high hopes for 2021. Number eight, TJ Hawkinson. We were convinced that Hawkinson's talent was going to push him to have a breakout season. Everything was moving in that direction. Reports out of training camp were saying that Hawkinson was by far the best player in camp. Beat reporters stated that he would lead the Lions in all receiving categories. Heck, he was even the best tight end at Tight End University. However, we didn't factor in how bad the play calling was going to be. I mean, Hawkinson would go multiple quarters without even seeing a target. An injury did cut his season short, but even in the games that he played, we expected much more out of him. Number seven, Daniel Jones. I'm willing to stick my neck out there and say that the Giants had the worst offense last year. But surprisingly, it was even worse when Daniel Jones missed the last six games of the season. He was on pace to toss for 3,700 yards and 15 touchdowns. Our projections, which I'll go ahead and say that I'm an idiot, was for him to throw for 4,200 yards and 29 touchdowns. We thought that he might have shown flashes of his decent rookie season in 2021, but instead, he trended in the opposite direction. Number six, Trevor Lawrence. We understand that rookies tend to have their fair share of struggles, but this was a season Lawrence wants to forget. To put it into perspective, we projected Lawrence to throw for over 4,000 yards and 28 touchdowns. Well, he didn't throw for even half of those touchdowns, finishing with 12 touchdowns and 17 interceptions. A lot of blame could be placed on the coaching, but for someone who was labeled as one of the better prospects in years, it's definitely been a grind for Lawrence's rookie year. Number five, Robbie Anderson. It might be one of those things that we'll never know what the answer is. Does Matt Rule dislike Anderson? Did the poor quarterback play hurt Anderson? Or did Anderson just not perform well this season? Regardless, it was a disappointing year, finishing with 519 yards on 53 receptions. We projected him to haul in over 1,000 yards on 82 receptions. We'll have to see which Anderson shows up in 2022, the 1,000-yard receiver from 2020, or a continuation of the season from last year. If anyone can get him back on track, it's Ben McAdoo for sure. Am I right, guys? Number four, Antonio Gibson. Now, it doesn't seem like it, but Gibson ended up having a decent season. He rushed for over 1,000 yards and had 10 total touchdowns. However, given the hype that we gave Gibson last offseason, I'd say we dropped the ball with him. We assumed, which you know what that means when you assume, Ron Revere would treat Gibson like he's the next Christian McCaffrey. Given that Rivera used to coach McCaffrey and Gibson resembles his skill set in so many ways. Instead, Gibby's injuries limited his potential all year, and JD McKissick took on more snaps than expected. Definitely not what we expected out of Gibson. Number three, Hunter Renfro. In a year where many within the organization were making dumb Morris mistakes, Hunter Renfro stepped up as Derek Carr's favorite target. Our projections had Renfro recording 60 receptions for 720 yards and only three touchdowns. Nothing more than mediocre this year. But Renfro proved us wrong, bringing in over 100 receptions and 1,000 yards for nine touchdowns and making the Pro Bowl. It was a remarkable season by Renfro. 
Number 2. Allen Robinson With as many bad offenses that he's been a part of, Robinson has always seemed to stand out above the rest throughout his career. In 2021, they finally caught up to him, with the horrendous Chicago Bears offense not being able to get Robinson involved. We had him getting close to 1,200 yards on the season, but he finished with a very disappointing 400 yards for the year. He's set to become a free agent, so we'll have to see if it really was the Bears offense holding him back, or if he'll continue to trend downwards with his new team. And number one, James Conner. Yep, I missed on this one. We were convinced that Chase Edmonds would be utilized as the main back and Connor would simply be a goal line back. Well, it started that way, but Connor would continue to tumble into the end zone game after game with no signs of slowing down. Fast forward to Edmonds getting hurt, Connor took the starting job and never looked back. Our preseason projections had him rushing for five touchdowns. He ended up making us look like fools, rushing for a staggering 15 touchdowns. It's safe to say that Connor has earned himself a big contract this offseason. Who are some players that you were wrong about in 2021? Leave a comment down below and let us know your thoughts. Also, give us a follow on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. Be sure to subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date when we come out with more lists every single week. And thank you guys so much for watching this video.